Rock bye, baby. Whoa. Hi, I'm Joy, and welcome to the Side Chef Studio Kitchen. Today, we're making next level mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are one of my all time favorite foods, so developing this recipe for you has been a true dream. I'll give you my tips and tricks for making these mashed potatoes next level, including a delicious crunchy Parmesan topping. Let's get started. We're gonna start by prepping our potatoes. So I have four pounds of russet potatoes here, and I'm just going to cut them into discs and then cut them in half. The reason why I'm cutting them is because we want all the pieces to be roughly the same thickness so that they cook evenly. I really love mashed potatoes. Um, as you guys know, I'm gluten-free, so I can always, always, always count on mashed potatoes to be delicious. And also growing up, my grandma would always make me mashed potatoes, so I just associate them with a lot of good family memories. For my mashed potatoes, I'm making two very important decisions. One, I'm using russet potatoes. They're a starchier potato, so I find that they boil really well and can absorb the flavor of the chicken broth while in the pot, but also I'm keeping the skins on. I really like that little bit of texture you get in a mashed potato when you keep the skins on, but of course, if you are a skins off person, feel free to peel them. Now it's time to boil our potatoes. So we're just gonna put them into a cold pan. Then we're going to add chicken broth and water. I'm gonna put in my chicken broth first. After the broth, just pour on your water until they're fully covered. I know that cooking potatoes in chicken broth is a little bit unique, but I find that it infuses the potatoes with a lot of flavor right from the beginning. Turn up the heat to medium high. We're just going to simmer our potatoes for 25 to 30 minutes until they're fork tender and super soft. Once your pot is at a simmer, you just wanna keep stirring it just to make extra sure that everybody's cooking evenly. While our potatoes are cooking, we're gonna make our milk mixture. So we're just gonna add the milk. Then I'm going to add lemon peel. So I'm adding two, but feel free to do one, depending on the size of your lemon. I'm adding a little bit of rosemary. Then I'm gonna add garlic. And then I'll just add some salt and pepper. Big pinch. And we're just gonna mix this up and then let all the flavors infuse together. It's been about 30 minutes and our potatoes are ready. So the way you know your potatoes are ready is if you pull one out, you take a fork, and if it easily goes through, and if they break apart a little bit, then they're ready. So it's now time to drain our potatoes. I'm gonna keep using this pot, so I'm just gonna move the liquid into anything else. This is a special mashed potato trick. So we're gonna return our drained potatoes into an empty pot and give them a quick dry fry just to seal in all that flavor and get rid of a little bit of that liquid that they absorb. So you should immediately start to hear your potatoes sizzling. And then from then on, you just wanna stir the pan every 30 seconds. It is now time for the mashed part of our mashed potato journey. So I've tried a lot of different ways to make mashed potatoes and I found the easiest and the tastiest way to do it is actually in a food processor. So we're now going to take half of our potatoes, process them, and then do the other half. Whoop. Let's whiz it up. So you wanna process them just enough that they break down and you can break up a little bit of the skins, but not too much that you overwork the potato. So when you have half of your potato mash done, we're just gonna put it in the original pot that we boiled and then fried our potatoes in. Don't worry too much about it being super clean. We wanna keep all those flavors. Now that all our potatoes are mashed, it's time to add in the butter. So you can just put it all in and then mix it up so we can evenly distribute it throughout the potatoes. The last step for our mashed potatoes is to mix in that milk mixture that we steeped earlier. So we're just gonna slowly add it to give our mashed potatoes some more flavor and some extra creaminess. Mmm, they smell really good. Ah, lots of 
workouts here. So the reason why I like to add it in batches is because it can go from thick to watery kind of quickly. Um, and obviously this is also super on personal preference. I like my mashed potatoes a little bit thicker. Um, so I might not use all of the liquid, but if you like them super creamy, then you can add all of it. Oof. Now that our mashed potatoes are done, it's time to make our topping. Do normal mashed potatoes have toppings? No, they don't. But ours do because they're next level mashed potatoes. So we're using cheese, of course, and my absolute favorite cheese, Parmesan. So what we're doing now is we're going to make Parmesan chips that'll give us a really crispy and delicious topping. Scoop big spoonfuls of Parmesan cheese onto a parchment lined baking sheet. And then you'll press down a little bit in the middle because the thinner they are, the crispier they'll get. Before they go into the oven, we're just gonna season each of our chips with a little bit of black pepper to make them even tastier. We're gonna pop our Parmesan in the oven for five minutes or until it's just starting to brown. In addition to your Parmesan chips, we're also going to make a breadcrumb mixture. So, start with your breadcrumbs. Then we'll add paprika. Then we'll do pepper. Last, of course, we add some salt. And now we mix it up. That's it. So our Parmesan chips are out of the oven and now we're going to sprinkle our breadcrumb topping over our Parmesan chips to soak up some of their grease and also give these a chance to crisp up even more in the oven. Um, once you've covered all the chips with breadcrumbs, you can just fill in the rest of the tray. We're gonna pop this back in the oven for another three to four minutes. Our topping is now ready. It looks amazing. We've got some great color on our breadcrumbs and now it's time to smash it up. So you're going to lift the parchment paper and then pour it into the bowl. If you are at all stressed about your Thanksgiving dinner, this is the perfect way to get that stress out. So with a wooden spatula or spoon, you're going to smash your Parmesan chips into bite-sized pieces. You're worried about the turkey. You burnt your pie. Everyone's late. You don't know what to make for your side dishes. Nothing to worry about. Just get your chest out and then you'll deal with it later. <laughs> Mashed potatoes have always been a favorite of mine, so I wanted this recipe to be easy but absolutely delicious. From soaking the potatoes in broth to our crunchy, complex Parmesan topping, I think these will be a real star of your Thanksgiving table. Have a great holiday.